In this video, we're going to go over a quick explanation of why exponentiating the coefficients gives us rate ratios. And to do so, I'm going to, I'm going to move a bit more quickly as we've gone through a very similar explanation when looking at logistic regression and working um, with exponentiating the coefficient to get odds ratios. So what we're going to do here is the exact same explanation there, just with Poisson regression. <clears throat> so I'm going to do it in the context of one of the data sets we've been working with, but I'm going to keep it generic. So looking at x1 variable, do they smoke, yes or no? x2 variable, their age, and let's just think of it as being numeric. And the outcome was um, lung cancer death rates. So we're going to model the log rate, given the x's, using b0 plus b1 times smoke plus b2 times age. Okay. Now, just to start with kind of the definition, the rate ratio associated with smoking is what's the lung cancer death rate given they smoke divided by the lung cancer death rate given they do not smoke. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by working on the log scale. Right. Because again, we're working, our model is working with the log rates. You can also do the exact same um, work through by model talking about modeling the rate as an exponential function of x's, but I won't get into that right now. So the log rate ratio is the log of this here. And as we've seen throughout the course, right, the log of a over b can be written as log of a minus log of b. So we can write this as the log rate given x1 is smoking. minus the log rate given x1 is no smoking. First I'm going to work out this one here. Okay. Again, this is what our model gives us. What's the log rate given the x's? So the log rate given the smoke is b0 plus b1 times 1. Right? Here we're saying they smoke. The indicator takes in a value of 1, plus b2 times whatever their age is. So I'm just going to leave it that way for now, whatever their age is. Minus, and this part here, what's the log rate given they do not smoke? The log rate given the x is, it's b0 plus b1 now times 0. If they do not smoke, this indicator takes on a value of 0, plus b2 times whatever their age is. Now if we look at this here, we can see b0 minus b0, it's going to cancel out. b2 times the age minus b2 times the age is going to cancel out. This here is 0, and we're left with just b1. And so the log rate ratio is b1. So the rate ratio is the exponent of the log rate ratio, or the exponent of b1. Okay. So again, this is the exact same explanation we went through in logistic regression, but I thought it was worth going over one more time again, just to convince you that when we exponentiate these coefficients, they give us the rate ratios adjusted for the other variables in the model. And again, this is where we see the <clears throat> rate ratio of smoking adjusted for age, right? We've accounted for age um, in the numerator and the denominator, but those are going to cancel each other out. Stick around, guys. There's more to see, and please stay safe.